I can't believe we've got double English. <sighs> English is well dry. I don't see what's so great about reading anyways. No, nah, reading's for losers. <laughs> in it, though. At least we've got a new teacher today. Yeah, right, that'll be a laugh, won't it? Morning. All right. As I'm sure you're aware, my name is Mr. Logan. I'm your new English teacher. Nice to meet you all. I hope you're all ready to get to grips with some Elizabethan literature. Let's all turn to page 53 in our poetry textbooks. I think we'll dive straight in with the bard himself. Sir? Yeah? Are you English, sir? No, I'm Scottish. So you ain't English, then? No, I'm British. So you ain't English, then? No, I'm not, but as you can see, I do speak English. But I can't understand what you're saying, sir. <laughs> well, clearly you can. Sorry, are you talking Scottish now? No, I'm talking English. Right. Don't sound like it. OK, whatever you want. No! Let's get on with Shakespeare. I don't think you're qualified to teach us English. I am perfectly qualified to teach English. I don't think you are, though. You don't have to be English to teach it. Right. Have we got double English or double Scottish? <laughs> Is your name Lauren Cooper, by any chance? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Why? Your reputation precedes you. Any day. <laughs> so, Shakespeare's sonnets. Sir? A sonnet is a poem. Sir? Written in 14 Sir? lines, the last two Sir? of which must form Sir? a rhyming couplet. Sir? Yes, Lauren? Can I ask you a question? Not just now. Can I ask you a question now? Just wait. But can I just ask you a question? I only want to ask you a question. Can I ask you a question? I'm just asking you a question. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> What is it? Are you the doctor? <laughs> doctor who? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You look like Doctor Who, though. I'm not Doctor Who, I'm your English teacher. I don't think you are, though. Lauren. I think you're a 945-year-old Time Lord. Listen. <laughs> Did you just pitch up from Mars? Don't be ridiculous. You know your house, right? What? You know your house? Yeah. Is it bigger on the inside? A bit quiet. If you park the TARDIS on a metre. Oh. <laughs> Can we please get back to Shakespeare? Thank you. So... Do you fancy Billy Piper, sir? Right. <laughs> you are the most insolent child I've ever had the misfortune to teach. Thank you. <laughs> You're pointless, repetitious, and extremely dull. A bit like Shakespeare. You're not even worthy to mention his name. William, Shake William Shakespeare was a genius. You, little madam, are definitely not. Now just sit there, keep your mouth shut, or I will feel you in this whole module right now. <laughs> I missed... I bother it. <laughs> I missed a bothered for safe. Lauren. Look at my face. I don't. Look at my face. Stop it. Is this the bothered face that sees before me? Right, I'm calling your parents. Are you disrespecting the house of Cooper? <laughs> Aren't thou calling my mother a pox ridden wench? No. Aren't thou calling my father a goodly rotten apple? Lauren. <laughs> but he ain't even a goodly rotten apple. Listen to me. But he ain't even a goodly rotten apple. That's though. enough. Face it. Lauren. 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 Look it. Enough. Look it. Sure. Look my liege, 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 and in some perfume is there more delight than in the breath that from my mistress reeks. I love to hear her speak, yet well I know that music have a far more pleasing sound. I grant I never saw a goddess go. My mistress, when she walks, treads on the ground. And yet 
by heaven, I think my love as rare as any she belies with false compare. Bite me, alien boy! <laughs> That's better. <laughs> A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. 